Hey people, it is Wednesday, May the 16th. The time is 11.10 in the morning. It's about 17 Celsius. I'm on Young Street, just crossing Queen, heading north. And I'm gonna be making a few stops. This is a bit of an errand walk through downtown and mostly over into the east side of downtown. I'm going to be making a stop at The Source in the Eaton Center to buy a new power bank and new USB-C cable. My power bank and or cable have been giving me a bit of trouble lately during my live streams. They're not really charging the phone properly, so I have a gift card from The Source, so I thought I might as well put it to use, get myself a new power bank and new cable. And then after that, I have another mission to accomplish. I want to renew my library card, so I'm going to be walking over to a public library branch on the east side of downtown. I'm going to go to the Cabbage Town branch, which is the nearest one to where I live. And I'm going to renew my Toronto library card. And after that, I have one more stop. I'm going to be going to the Metro store to buy some pizzas on sale. Today's the last day of the sale. So I'll stock up on a few of those. So this will be a three stop walk on a mild Wednesday. Getting some stuff done. Might as well kill two birds with one stone and record a video while I do these errands. All right, now I can enter the Eaton Center right here through the Queen subway station. I'm going to the lowest level of the mall where the source store is. And this will take me right down there. Quiet Queen Station right now. And just like that, we're in the Eaton Center. the fountain and the source store is just up ahead so I'm gonna pause the video once I go in to buy the new power bank I'll resume after I've made my pur purchases and we'll continue on towards the public library in Cabbage Town. And here's the source store. Well, that's kind of a cool sign there. The new Queen's Cross Food Hall. Huh, that was neat. 
All right, so I'm gonna head inside, so I'll be back in a flash. All right, I am back after making my purchase. Unfortunately, they didn't have the USB-C cable that I was looking for. They only had the really long ones. I just want a short cable. So I'll have to get one of those elsewhere, but here's the power bank I got. It was only $25. And I still have about $20 left on my gift card, so I can always use that another time to get something else. So now let's head out of the mall and I'll start making my way to the Cabbage Town Public Library. I kind of wanted to go up the stairs right here, but it looks like these stairs are out of commission, as well as the escalator. Maybe I'll take the elevator. This is something I rarely ever do. This will take me right out onto Young Street near Shooter. And then I'm going to head east along Shooter Street. I think there's rain in the forecast today. Well, it's quite overcast. I think the temperature will get up into the 20s eventually in the afternoon. Victoria Street, St. Mike's Hospital right here.
And they're building a new addition to the hospital here. An expanded emergency area. Funny, all these pickup trucks here, this is something you don't usually see. I bet you these are all owned by construction workers working right at that hospital project. And approaching Church Street. So hopefully renewing my library card will be hassle-free. I brought about four pieces of identification. A health card, my birth certificate, a social insurance card, <laughs> and my old library card. You get lots of awesome perks with a Toronto Public Library card, including free admission to some of the city's tourist attractions, which could definitely come in handy for my channel. And just recently, one of the tourist attractions that was included is the CN Tower. That would be a huge deal if I could get free admission to the CN Tower for future videos because it's not cheap. Last time I went up in the tower it was All my cards in my pocket here. So here's my old public library card. And this is pretty old, it's about 10 years old. I'm not sure if they still look the same. And look at this, there is no power at this intersection. Everyone is just sort of doing the old four-way stop routine here. This is at Jarvis. Hopefully I can get across. Okay, I'm gonna go. Whoops. <laughs> Basically, you just gotta go, otherwise you'll never have a chance. Mm. 
I wonder what the cause of this is. I wonder if it includes a whole section of the east side or just that one intersection. Doesn't seem to be any power on this crosswalk either. Now, how about this next intersection? Doesn't look like there's any power at this, at this one either. I wonder if my apartment is affected. I live pretty close by. The last time there was a power outage in the downtown area it was because a raccoon climbed onto some power lines and electrocuted itself and knocked out power to a big chunk of the east side of downtown at that time. I don't think that raccoon survived unfortunately. So I wonder what the cause is this time. Because yep, there's no power at Sherborne and Shooter either. Moss Park, both the park and the neighborhood. All right, I'm gonna go. If these cars are going, I'm gonna go. <laughs> it's just a bit of a free-for-all. I guess he's got his work cut out for him right now. Kudos to that guy. Yeah, he's just going from one side to the other. <laughs> the dog is happy to see him doing such a good job. Maybe later on the news, I'll find out what the cause was of this outage. I once was right in the heart of downtown on Dundas Street near Young and Dundas when there was a major power outage. And I managed to capture that on video. So 
So all the big video screens that Young and Dundas went dark. And while I was recording, the power came back on and <laughs> you get to see all the billboards flicker back to life again. Moss Park Apartments. I don't know if there's any power at Parliament up ahead. Doesn't look like it. I wonder if the public library branch I'm heading to has any power. It won't be able to renew my card if there's no power. I guess I'll find out when I get there. Or for that matter, the metro store that I'm planning to go to. This could derail my entire plan. And another powerless intersection. So I gotta go up to Gerard Street to where the library is. So maybe by the time I get up there, maybe that part of the power grid is unaffected. Oh yeah, thank you. Thanks. Well. And I can see all the way down to the next intersection and there's no power down there either. Looking north up towards Dundas, doesn't look like there's any power there either.
the new mid-rise residential building is going up here. No power at Dundas and Parliament. And it's looking more and more likely that my apartment is probably affected by this outage. Oftentimes, though, in other power outages, blocks surrounding my block lost power, but for some reason, mine never did. <laughs> Maybe I'll luck out again and still have power. So I guess the fresh co there is out of commission for now. go. This person in the car is not looking at all. Powerless in Regent Park. Another crossing guard has her hands full here. And looking up towards Gerard, I don't see any power up there either. I think I do see some traffic lights working in the next intersection north of Gerard though. Up towards Carlton. The outage hasn't affected the construction workers in any way, it seems. So I wonder if the kids get to go home from school since there's no power.
If not, it would still be a bit of a fun day at school. Anything different than the norm is always a little bit of fun. Streetcars are not affected though, as you can see. Powerless in Cabbage Town. And here is the Cabbage Town Library Branch. I think it's safe to assume that I won't be able to renew my card if they don't have any power. Yeah, it looks like things are out of commission here. I'll have to come back another day and do that. And now the question is, is the Metro store powerless as well? Now we're heading west on Gerard Street East. Yeah, I don't see any working traffic lights as far down as I can see. Maybe all the way down by Church Street, maybe. There might be some power. I think that was the last working intersection I saw walking along Shooter was at Church. It's starting to feel quite humid now, too. I wonder if the weather had anything to do with it. Maybe there's a bit more demand, people using their ACs, because it's already feeling pretty hot in my apartment the last few days. I don't have my AC installed yet, though.
Yeah, it looks like Church Street is where the power is working. So the whole power grid east of Church Street is out. And maybe up to Carlton, maybe, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how far south it goes either. So the metro store is a bit north of Church, so that would suggest that it's probably without power. know what to do here. I'm supposed to use a four-way stop sort of procedure in these situations. Right. So looking north to Carlton, I don't see any power actually at Carlton, but I do see power at the next intersection, maybe at Wellesley. Allen Gardens. So I'm almost home right now. I don't know if I should even bother walking to the metro store. Oh, did I just see power go on at Jarvis? I think I did. There's power at Jarvis. So that might mean the metro store does have power. I would like to definitely grab a few of those pizzas while they're on sale. George Street. All right, so power at Jarvis and Gerard. There wasn't power at Jarvis and Shooter earlier. back this way. Still no power down at Sherborne. Thought maybe the power would be flickering on from one intersection to the next.
now there's power down at Dundas and Jarvis also. So if Metro's power went down, but then back up again, hopefully that means that by the time I <laughs> want to make my purchases, everything will be up and running normally because I pay with debit all the time. I don't carry cash. I have a feeling the debit machines might not be working. The only way is to go in and find out. Merging onto a mutual street. Gould and Mutual, here's the Metro. Now, will I be able to get my cheap pizzas? Everything seems normal. Usually if there was a problem with the debit machines, they'd be doing a announcement every like minute or so, informing customers. Cash only is the way to go, but I don't hear anything. So at least only one of my errands got kiboshed by the outage. Any yogurt on sale? If 
$5.99 is $2 cheaper now. Although not that long ago. $5.99 was the regular price. Now it's $7.99. some pizzas in stock at the much cheaper price of $3.49 down from $7.49 so I'm going to stock up on some of these Dr. Ocker frozen pizzas so I hope you enjoyed the errand walk <laughs> around downtown during a power outage on the east side of downtown one of my errands was a no-go due to the Loss of power at the public library branch in Cabbage Town. So no new library card for me today, but I was able to get my power bank at the source. No cable yet though. But I'll be able to grab my pizzas and then start heading home. So I hope you enjoyed my little expedition around the east side today, checking out all the various intersections <laughs> without power. Hopefully my apartment it's not affected, but I have a feeling it is. I might do an update on that. So leave a comment down below and be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And also make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you won't miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal, as well as via my merch store. And you can also support the channel by becoming a channel member or by sending a super thanks if you prefer. And you can find me on Instagram under K Continuum. So thanks for watching. And thanks to all the channel members. And be sure to keep checking back. Because, as always, I will continue. <laughs> <laughs>